We give you all worship. There is none like you. We bless your name this morning. You are our savior. You are our healer. You are our father. We thank you for your love. Upon our lives today. We give you all the glory. What you have done throughout this year. You've been faithful to us. You have given us life. Lord, we thank you. Even as we come to the end of this year, we know that our lives will never remain the same. Thank you for every word that you have spoken to us throughout this year. We glorify your name and our lives will never remain the same. We glorify your name speak to us now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Give the Lord a hand of praise. God bless you, praise and worship us. We can sit down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
This is a wonderful day. Hii ni siku njema that the Lord has made. Abayo, ambayo Bwana ameifanya. We are coming live from Soul Harvest Taveta Kenya. Tunakuja live kutoka Soul Harvest Taveta Kenya. My name is Pastor Samora. Jina lake ni mchungaji Pastor Samora. My interpreter is Margaret. Na mkalimani wake ni Margaret. We thank God to come live to you this morning. Tunamshukuru Mungu kuja live asubuhi ya leo. And we believe God has a word for you even as you are ending this year. Na ni tunaamini kwamba Mungu ana neno kwa ajili yako hata tunapotamatisha mwaka huu. So please be attentive. Kwa hivyo wewe kuwa makini. Please have a, a, a pen and a book to write. Tafadhali kuwa na kalamu na kitabu kwa ajili ya kunuku. Because I'll be teaching today. Kwa sababu nitakuwa nafundisha leo something very important. Kitu cha muhimu sana. I've entitled my message The God Given Dream. Nimekipatia mada The God Given Dream. Ndoto inayopeanwa na Mungu ama ndoto ya kimungu. Amen. The God given dream or vision. Ndoto inayopeanwa na Mungu ama maono. Amen. Amen. The God given dream or vision. Ndoto inayopeanwa na Mungu ama maono. I want to begin by saying this. Nataka kuanza kwa kusema hivi. God never intended you to live without a dream or a vision. Mungu hakukusudia ukaishi bila maono ama kusudi. It has never been the intention of God for man to live without a dream or a vision. Haijawahi kuwa kusudi la Mungu ya kwamba mwanadamu akaishi bila ndoto ama maono. In fact when you read the Bible Proverbs 29 verse 18. Unaposoma Biblia methali 29 mstari wa 18. The Bible says this. Biblia inasema hivi that where there is no vision pahali pasipo na maono people perish watu huangamia that is proverbs 29 verse 18 hiyo ni methali 29 mstari wa 18 where there is no vision pale ambapo hakuna maono people perish watu huangamia so it is dangerous to live without a dream or a vision kwa hivyo ni hatari sana kuishi bila maono ama ndoto it is dangerous to live without having goals of life ni hatari sana kuishi pasipo na malengo ya maisha so you need a dream or a vision in this world kwa hivyo unahitaji ndoto ama maono katika maisha yako duniani and particularly to I am speaking concerning that dream or that vision that God gives you. Na hasa leo tunazungumzia kuhusu maono ama ndoto ambayo Mungu anakupatia. Because you can have your own dreams. Kwa sababu unaweza kuwa na ndoto zako mwenyewe. But the, there's a dream, there's a vision that God gives you that is tied to the dreams you have. Lakini kuna yale maono na ndoto Mungu anakupatia kando na zile wewe mwenyewe uko nazo. Listen to this. Sikiliza hii. A man without a dream or a vision is a man without a future. Mwanadamu asiyekuwa na maono ama na, na, na ndoto ni mwanadamu ambaye hana maisha ya mbele. Are, are we together? Tuko pamoja. A man without a dream, a man without a vision is a man without a future. Mwanadamu ambaye hana ndoto ama hana maono ni mwanadamu ambaye hana maisha ya mbele. In other words, your dream is as important as your life. Kwa maneno mengine ndoto yako ni muhimu kama vile maisha yako. Your dream is as important as your life. Kumaanisha kwamba ndoto yako ni muhimu kama vile maisha yako. There is a connection between your dreams and your vision and your life. Kuna kuna kuungana kwa ndoto yako na maono yako na maisha yako. Amen. Amen. So your life is connected to your dreams and to your visions. Kwa hivyo maono yako yanashikana ama yanaungana na ndoto yako na maono yako. And that's why we are saying a man without a dream, a man without a vision is a man without a future. Na ndipo sasa tunasema ya kwamba mwanadamu bila maono, mwanadamu bila ndoto ni mwanadamu ambaye hana maisha ya mbele. In fact, a God-given dream, a God-given dream 
ndoto ambayo imetokana na Mungu is tied or wrapped in it's, it's, it's tied in who you are maono yanayotokana na Mungu yanashikana ama yanalingana na jinsi huyo mtu alivyo i can say this that the dream and the vision that god gives you is like uh, your dna nitasema hivi ya kwamba ndoto ama maono ambayo Mungu anakupatia ni kama ile tunasema DNA. Amen. Amen. So your destiny and reason for living is in the dreams and the vision that God has given you. Hatima yako ama kusudi lako la kuishi inalingana na ile ndoto Mungu amekupatia. We cannot separate your destiny and your visions and the dreams you have. Hatuwezi kutenganisha hatima yako na ndoto yako ambao uko nayo. So the visions that you have they are like a bridge to your tomorrow to your future. Kwa hivyo maono ambayo uko nayo ni daraja ya kesho yako. Amen. Amen. And God is not only interested in what you accomplish for him. Na Mungu hajapendezwa tu na kile ambacho unafanya kwa ajili yake. But God is interested on who you become when you are serving him. Lakini Mungu anapendezwa na yule mtu utakayekuwa wakati unapomtumikia. There is something that God is making inside you. Kuna kitu ambacho Mungu anatengeneza ndani yako. I want to encourage believers that even when you are serving God, I want to tell you there is something that God is building inside you through the serving. Nataka niwatie moyo wa waumini ya kwamba hata wakati unamtumikia Mungu kuna jambo Mungu anaunda ndani yako. There is a dimension that God desires you to reach. Kuna hatua Mungu anatamani ukafikie. There is a level that God desires you to reach. Kuna kiwango Mungu anatamani ukafikie. Even when you are serving him. Hata wakati unapomtumikia. Are we together? Tuko pamoja. What is a dream? What is a vision? Ndoto ni nini? Maono ni nini? Because when we are talking about a vision, what is a vision? What is a dream? Kwa sababu tunapoongea kuhusu maono, tunahitaji tuelewe maono ni nini na ndoto ni nini. So a dream or a vision Kwa hivyo ndoto ama maono is a mental picture of your tomorrow. Ni tathmini ama ni picture, ni picture mm -hmm. ya kesho yako. Exactly. It is a mental picture of your future ni picha ya akili ya kesho yako in fact a vision a, 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 a vision is the future in the present hata hivyo maono ni kesho yako kwa siku ya leo amen so you are in the today but already you see tomorrow you see who you will be kumaanisha kwamba uko leo lakini unaona utakavyokuwa hapo awa utakapo utakavyokuwa hapo kesho so you need to have a picture kwa hivyo lazima uwe na ile picha kwenye akili yako of your tomorrow ya kesho yako what do you see ahead of you ni nini unaona mbele yako ask your neighbor what do you see before you uliza jirani yako ni nini unaona mbele yako ask him five years from now what do you see Muulize jirani yako miaka mitano kutoka sasa wewe unaona nini? Ask your neighbor two years from now what do you see? Uliza jirani yako miaka miwili kutoka sasa wewe unaona nini? So we cannot live without a vision or a dream. Kwa hivyo hatuwezi kuishi bila maono wala ndoto. People who do not have a dream or a vision are people who are not going anywhere. Watu ambao hawana maono wala hawana ndoto ni watu ambao hawaendi popote. These are people they can do anything. Hawa ni watu ambao wanaweza kufanya chochote. When you know your dream and your vision there are things you will not do and there are things you will do. Wakati unapoelewa ndoto yako na maono yako kuna vitu ambavyo utafanya na kuna mambo ambayo hutafanya. So a, a dream or a vision is a mental picture. Kwa hivyo ndoto ama maono ni picha ile ya akili. You remember when God came to Abraham? Unakumbuka wakati Mungu alikuja kwa Abraham? And when God was showing about the future. Wakati Mungu alikuwa anaonyesha Ibrahimu kuhusu kesho yake. God showed Abraham the stars. He, he told Abraham, look at the stars. 
wakati huo Mungu alimwambia Ibrahimu tazama nyota juu In other words God was creating a picture in Abraham in terms of stars Kwa maneno mengine Mungu alikuwa anajaribu kuunda picha kwa akili za Abrahamu kupitia zile nyota And he told him that your generation will be like these stars Na akamwambia kwamba kizazi chako ama uso wako utakuwa kama hizi nyota A picture was created inside Abraham Kuna picha fulani iliundika katika akili za Abraham He had no son but there's a, there was a picture of how it will be Hakuwa na kwa macho lakini alipata picha itakuwa vipi hapo You know a dream or a vision makes the invisible visible Kwa sababu ndoto ama maono huwa inasababisha mambo ambayo hayaonekani yakaweza kuonekana A vision and a dream makes the unknown to be possible Ndoto ama maono inasababisha zile vitu ambavyo havijulikani vikaweza kuonekana na kujulikana. So when we are talking about a dream or a vision, these are things that we do not have right now. Wakati tunaongelea kuhusu ndoto ama maono ni vitu ambavyo hatuna sasa hivi. You know I cannot have a dream of having this trouser if already I have this trouser. Huwezi kuwa na maono ama ndoto ya kuwa na suruali aina fulani na wakati uko nayo wakati huo. But when I don't have such a kind of trouser then I can have a dream and a vision concerning that trouser. Lakini wakati huna hiyo suruali unaweza kuwa na ndoto na maono ya kuweza kupata suruali kama hiyo. In other words I'm saying this a dream and a vision speaks concerning your future your tomorrow. Kwa maneno mengine nasema ya kwamba ndoto ama maono huzungu umza kuhusu kesho yako the levels and the dimensions you desire to be 5 10 years to come kiwango na hatua ambazo unatamani miaka mitano ijayo in terms of your business katika biashara zako in your marriage katika ndoa yako in your spiritual life katika maisha yako ya kiroho in your ministry katika huduma yako what do you see wewe unaona nini do you live only for today also or you live also for tomorrow unaishia leo peke yako peke yake ama unaishia hadi kesho you need to see beyond today unahitaji kuona kupita siku hii ya leo now I will say this a vision is the ability to see beyond where you are today Nitasema hivi ya kwamba maono ni uwezo wa kuona zaidi ya vile ulivyo leo Yes you are seeing beyond your present situation today Unaona zaidi ya hali yako tatmini hali yako hivi leo You are in poverty right now but 5 years to come you are seeing yourself building your own house driving a car that is a dream that is a vision because it speaks beyond where you are today Unaweza kuwa huko katika umaskini leo hii lakini unaona zaidi ya hiyo hali unajiona ukiendesha gari unajiona ukijenga nyumba yako kwa sababu maono ni kuona zaidi ya vile ulivyo leo so, Please don't give up kwa hivyo na kuomba tafadhali usichoke because of your present condition usivunjike moyo kwa sababu ya hali yako ya leo you need to hold on on the vision and the dreams unahitaji kushikilia maono yako na ndoto yako pursue your dreams and your vision kimbizana na ndoto yako na maono yako don't die in your present situation usife katika hali yako ya leo because a dream makes you to see beyond today kwa sababu ndoto na maono inakusababisha uone zaidi ya leo. Today I'm sick but I'm seeing myself being healed coming days. Amen. Leo mimi ni mgonjwa lakini najiona nikiwa nimepona siku zijazo. Are you seeing the importance of, of a vision or a dream? Mnaona umuhimu wa ndoto ama maono. It gives you to go beyond today. Inakusaidia kutoka kwenda mbele zaidi It gives you power to go beyond your discouragement Inakupatia nguvu ya kusonga mbele ya kuvunjika moyo kwako It gives you strength to go beyond the disappointment you have today Inakutia nguvu ya kuweza kushinda kuvunjika moyo 
I refuse to give up. I refuse to give up because of what I'm passing through right now. I refuse to be discouraged right now because I know I have a future. The way I am today is not the way I will finish. Probably I've started being weak. But I will finish very strong. Amen. Amen. In fact, God does not speak to you about where you are today. God does not speak to you from where you are right now. But God is speaking to you to the place where you will be. That's why when God came to Gideon, Gideon, Gideon was hiding. Gideon but God came and said, You mighty man of valor. This is not the place you should be. You are a deliverer. You are a savior. Because God had a vision for Gideon. Some of you, you are in situations that you are not supposed to be there. Please don't die in your present condition. Probably you've been rejected by people. I am here to tell you, please don't die in your rejection. Have a vision that one day you'll be accepted. Those people who have rejected you and despised you, one day they will accept you. Joseph was rejected and despised by his brothers because of the dream he had. But a time came they needed Joseph. My brother, please don't help them because of the rejection. A season is coming, they will accept you. Hold on to your vision. Hold on to your dreams. Turn to your neighbor, tell him, hold on to your dreams. Now, why does God give us dreams or visions? Why does God give you dream or visions? Number one, for direction. For direction. For direction. So God gives you a dream in order for the dream or the vision to give you direction. Because there is a connection between your dream and your future. There is a connection between your dream and where you are going. So God will give you a dream and a vision so that you can have direction. I will tell you in a simple term that a dream or a vision is like a compass. Mm. Compass. Ile direction east, west, north. In other words, a dream and a vision is like a map. A, a map will show you. Uh, the distance of the road from Taveta to Nairobi. 
direct amuelekeo wa kutoka Taveta kuelekea Nairobi. So when you have a dream, when God has given you a vision, he has given you a direction. Wakati Mungu amekupatia maono, amekupatia mwelekeo. Somebody who has a dream and a vision is not somebody who will go everywhere. No, there is a specific place you need to go. Mtu ambaye ana maono ama ana ndoto si mtu ambaye ataenda kila mahali ama mahali popote ataangalia ni wapi anapoenda. Eh si kwamba ukiwa umekaa hauna maono basi mtu yote tu anaweza kuchukua twende tusema hey, twende 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 ha, hakuna maono anasema siendi nenda mwenyewe because you know where you are going. Kwa sababu unajua pale unaenda. Number two. Na pili. Why does God give us dreams or visions in life? Kwa nini Mungu anatupatia maono ama ndoto katika maisha yetu? To inspire you to continue and to not and not to give up. Kutusaidia tuendelee na tusichoke. Regardless of what will happen to us. Bila kujali ni mangapi tutakayo kutana nayo. So that dream is an inspiration. Kwa hivyo hiyo ndoto ni ya kututia moyo. It is a motivation. Ni kitu ambacho kinatutia moyo. That you should continue Mama Peter. Ni motisha ya kwamba unastahili kuendelea Mama Peter. Even Pita. when there are obstacles just continue. Hata wakati kuna vizuizi wewe endelea tu. You should not be discouraged. Usikubali kuvunjika moyo. You have a dream. Una ndoto. You have a dream. Una ndoto. They have despised you. Wamekudharau. But you have a dream. Lakini una ndoto. Continue. Endelea. Continue. Endelea. You have something to live for. Una kitu cha kuishia. If you don't have anything to live for, then live for your dreams and the visions God has given you. Kama huna kitu cha kuishia duniani, wewe jaribu uishie ile ndoto ama maono Mungu amekupatia. Even when all people of the world will abandon you. Hata kama watu wote wa duniani watakuondokea. Hold on to your vision. Wewe shikilia maono yako. You know sometimes you can pass through life and you feel discouraged. Wajua wakati mwingine unaweza pitia hali katika maisha ukahisi kuvunjika moyo. To say the truth even myself there are times that I feel like giving up. Wakusema ukweli wakati mwingine hata mimi mwenyewe usikia kuchoka na kuvunjika moyo. In terms of ministry moyo. in times of serving God. Hata kwa ajili ya huduma na kumtumikia Mungu. There are things you desire to see in people but you are not seeing them. Kuna vitu ambavyo natamani nione kwa watu lakini sivioni. There are things you've told people to do but you are not seeing them they are doing it. Kuna vitu nimeambia watu wafanye lakini sioni wakifanya. And sometimes you feel like giving up. Na wakati mwingine nasikia kuchoka. But God comes and reminds me. Lakini Mungu anakuja na kunikumbusha. There is a dream and there is a vision I gave you. Ya kwamba kuna ndoto na kuna maono nilikupatia. Don't be discouraged because of what you are seeing. Usikubali kuvunjika moyo kwa sababu ya kile unaona. See beyond the discouragement. Ona zaidi ya kuvunjika moyo. See beyond the obstacle. Ona zaidi ya vizuizi. See beyond today, see tomorrow. Ona zaidi ya leo, ona kesho. And I feel encouraged again. Na nahisi kutiwa moyo tena. And I say God, I say God. Na nasema Mungu, I will live nitaishi for the dreams you've given me. Kwa ajili ya ndoto ambazo umenipatia. Number three. Ya tatu. God gives you a dream. Mungu anakupatia ndoto so that he can give you focus. Say focus. Mtazamo, focus. Mungu anakupatia maono ni posa akakupatie mtazamo. Why does God give you a focus? Kwa nini Mungu anakupatia mtazamo? Because he doesn't want you to be distracted. Kwa sababu hataki utatizwe. There are many things that are surrounding us and they want our attention. Kuna mambo mengi ambayo yametuzunguka na yanataka umakini wetu. But God gives us a dream so that we can focus. Lakini Mungu anatupatia ndoto ndipo sasa tukaweze kumakinika. People who've got dreams and vision they are people who are not easily distracted Watu ambao wana ndoto na maono ni watu ambao hawawezi kutatizika kwa uraibu They are so focused on their dreams and their visions Wamemakinika kwa ajili ya ndoto zao na maono yao You cannot shake them easily Huwezi watingisha kwa urahisi So you need a dream or a vision in life so that you are not distracted Kwa hivyo unahitaji maono na ndoto katika maisha yako ndipo sasa usitatizike When you have a dream when you have a vision 
wakati una ndoto ama una maono even when poverty come it will not distract you because you have a focus hata wakati umaskini utakuja hautakutatiza kwa sababu una mtazamo are we together tuko pamoja so god gives you a, a vision so that you can have focus kwa hivyo mungu anakupatia ndoto ama maono ni posa ukaweze kumakinika can you and neighbor tell him you need to have a focus Geukie jirani yako mwambie lazima unahitaji kuwa na kumakinika. You need to have a target. Lazima uwe na mahali ambapo unaelekea. That is the place where I want to be. Uwe na mahali ambapo unasema pale nipo nataka kufika. That is the place where I want to see. Nataka kuona nimefika pale mahali. Hello. Hello. I want to say this. Nataka kusema hivi. Even the achievement of this big church, this structure hata kwa ajili ya kutimiza hili ndoto la jengo hili la kanisa it came out of a dream and a vision ilitokana na ndoto na maono that we should have such a building i could see such a building one day a big place a good place ilitokana na ndoto na maono na ningeona jengo nzuri hivi na mahali pakubwa namna hii amen. amen even this altar it is through a vision a dream that we have that this altar should look like this hata kwenye madhabahu haya ilikuwa ni ndoto na maono ya kwamba madhabahu haya yakafanane jinsi alivyo i remember i was showing the development team the how this place will be nilikuwa nimekatakata zile zinaitwa ni maboya ama manini nikachonga chonga you remember You remember the picture and I said this it 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 is this way it should be. Alikuwa anaonyesha committee ya development ama ya ujenzi vile alikuwa amechonga alikuwa amechonga karatasi na mabox anajaribu ku, kuunda muundo wa ule picha vile haya madhabahu yanafaa kufanana. So you cannot live without a dream. Kwa hivyo uwezi ishi bila ndoto. You need to have a vision. You as a wife, what are your dreams? Wewe kama mke ndoto yako ni nini? Do you have dreams or visions that are connecting for you being a wife or you are just there Una ndoto ama maono ya kuwa mke ama wewe upo tu Hello hey, watu wamenyamaza Mimi ni, naongea vizuri ama wasikii tushuke chini Hello naongea na kina mama Ujie uko hapo tu we ni mama tu kazi tu ni ku download we ni kuangusha tu kila mwaka unaangusha tu Je kando na kuzaa una kitu kingine zaidi cha kufanya na kuona ama tu wewe tu ni mtambo. Mgeukie mwenzako mwambie wewe utakuwa mtambo tu. Hai. Ngona muambiani mnaoneana haya. Hai. Zaidi you, you need to have something you can live for. Ni lazima uwe na kitu cha zaidi unaweza kuishi kwa ajili yake. It is true you want children it is good. Ni vizuri ya kwamba unataka watoto ni vyema. And when what what about if God doesn't give you children what will you do? Will you die? Kwa hivyo Mungu asipokupatia watoto kutaendaje utakufa? It is true you want to get married but you are married na baadaye umeachwa utadu utakufa kwa sababu umeachwa. Ni kweli unataka kuolewa lakini iwapo ume, utaolewa alafu achike utakufa kwa sababu umeolewa na ukaachika. But people who have got dreams even when they are left with their wives of their husband their life still continues. Lakini mtu ambaye ana maono na ndoto hata akiachwa na mume ama mke ndoto yake huendelea. Ah, your dream and your vision is bigger than your situation. Ndoto yako na maono yako ni makubwa kuliko hali yako. Are, you, are we together? Tuko pamoja. Because uh, that's why I've said it is a god given dream. Ndipo sasa nimesema ya kwamba ni ndoto inayotokana na Mungu ama inayopeanwa na Mungu. This is not a dream your uncle has given you. Hii si ndoto ambayo umepewa na mjombako. This is not a dream your grandmother has given you. Hii si ndoto ambayo umepewa na nyanyako. This is a dream from God himself. Hii ni ndoto kutoka kwa Mungu mwenyewe. That is beyond people. Ambayo inapita ina, ina Whether they are there or not God has given a dream kama wanataka ama hawataki Mungu anapeana ndoto Say this I have a dream Sema hivi nina ndoto huh. How many of you have a dream because na, naongea na watu nikawa na kwamba leo ndio wanataka kuwa na ndoto hapo wengine hawajielewi Wangapi wana ndoto na kama hauna Mungu akusaidia kupatie Hallelujah Amen When you have a dream wakati una ndoto nobody will distract you Hakuna mtu atakaye kutatiza. You know what you want. Wewe unajua unahitaji nini. You know who you are. Wewe unajua unajielewa you know wewe ni nani. Unaelewa unaelekea yani wapi. Yaani watu wanaondoto wanajielewa. 
Amen. Hawa bebu ina upepo oh, kama bendera zi. Hey, hello. Yes. There are people who understand what they want. Kuna watu ambao wanaelewa wanataka nini. Number 4. Ya nne. Why does God give you a dream? Kwa nini Mungu anakupatia ndoto? To reveal his purpose and his potential inside your life. Ndipo sakaweze kuonyesha kusudi lake na uwezo wake juu ya maisha yako. Oh my God. He gives you a dream so that he can show himself how powerful he is in your life. Anakupatia ndoto ndipo sakaweze akaweze kujidhihirisha alivona nguvu juu ya maisha yako. So by the dreams and the vision we see in you, we can see God's purpose. We can see the potential that God has placed inside you through the dreams you pursue. Kupitia ndoto na maono ulionayo tunaweza kuona kusudi la Mungu na uwezo wa Mungu juu ya maisha yako ama kile Mungu ameweka ndani ya maisha yako. In other words, your dream and your vision will bring the best out of you. Kwa maneno mengine ndoto yako na maono yako itatoa kilicho kizuri zaidi kutoka oh kwa maisha God. yako. Hallelujah. Amen. There is something God has placed inside you in a form of a dream. Kuna kitu Mungu ameweka ndani yako kwa namna ya ndoto. People who've got visions, they are people who've got purposes of life. Watu ambao wana ma, wana ndoto na maono ni watu ambao wana makusudi ya maisha. You need to know the potential that is inside you through the things God has given you. Unahitaji kujua na kuelewa nguvu zilizoko ndani yako na uweza kupitia ile ndoto na maono Mungu amekupatia. Are we together? Tuko pamoja. Paka hapo tumeelewana. Kuna mtu ameelewa kila kitu eh? Tunasonga sasa. Now there are characteristics. Kuna tabia. Kuna tabia. There are characteristics of dreams and visions that come from God. Kuna tabia ya ndoto ama maono yanayotokana na Mungu. In other words, any dream or any vision that God gives you kwa maneno mengine ndoto yoyote ama maono ambayo Mungu anakupatia they will reflect some of these things I'm about to teach you. Inaonyesha ama inadhihirisha tabia zingine ambazo ninaenda kukufundisha. Are we ready? Do you want to know the characteristics of Unataka God? Unataka kujua hizi tabia za ndoto inayotokana na Mungu? Amen. Amen. Number one. Ya kwanza. Now Let us read the Bible so that we can we can continue Genesis chapter 34 and verse 5 and we will get to learn uh, through the Bible from the story of Joseph. Wacha tukasome Biblia kwenye kitabu cha mwanzo 37 37 and verse 5. Mstari wa 5 na tutaweza kuona ndoto kupitia hadithi ya Yosefu. Amen. Mwanzo 37 mstari wa tano. Yusufu akaota ndoto. Akawapa ndugu zake habari. Nao wakazidi kumchukia. Akawaambia, "Tafadhali nisikieni ndoto hii niliyoota. Tazama, sisi tulikuwa tukifunga miganda shambani. Kumbe Mganda wangu ukaondoka ukasimama na tazama migada yenu ikazunguka ikainama mbele ya mgada wangu. Continue. Ndugu zake wakamwambia, "Je, kweli wewe utatumiliki sisi?" Mm-hmm. Naye akawa naye nawe utata, utatutawala sisi? wakazidi kumchukia kwa ajili ya ndoto yake mm-hmm. na kwa maneno yake akaota tena ndoto nyingine akawaam akawaambia ndugu zake akasema angalieni nimeota ndoto nyingine na tazama juu ya mwezi na nyota kumi na moja zikaninamia akama akawaambia baba sorry akawaambia baba yake na ndugu zake baba yake akamkemea akamwambia ni ndoto gani hii uliyoota je mimi na mama yako na ndugu zako tutakuja tukusujudie hata nchi ndugu zake wakamhusudu 
bali baba yake akalihifadhi neno hili amen thank you you know the story of joseph look at me unaijua hadithi ya yosefu we can, we can learn about dreams of life through the life of joseph tunaweza kusoma kuhusu through, uh, we can learn concerning dreams of life through the life of joseph tunaweza kusoma kuhusu ndoto za maisha kupitia maisha ya yusufu the bible says that joseph had a dream biblia imenukua kwamba yusufu alikuwa na ndoto he slept and he had a dream alilala na akaota ndoto he slept and he had a dream alilala na akaota ndoto the one the first characteristic of any golden god given dream is this tabia ya kwanza ya ndoto inayotokana na mungu ni hii god is the source of the dream mungu ndiye chanzo cha hiyo ndoto god must be the source of that dream Mungu lazima awe chanzo cha ile ndoto. God has placed in us dreams and vision in our hearts. Mungu ameweka ndani yetu maono na ndoto katika mioyo yetu. That we should not live in vain. Ya kwamba hatutaishi bure tu. And we shall not die in vain. Na hatutakufa bure tu. So God is the source of dreams and vision. Kwa hivyo Mungu ndiye chanzo cha ndoto na maono. You know Joseph when he was sleeping he did not decide to have a dream. Wajua Yusufu alipokuwa amelala hakuamua kuota. I should ask you this question. Many of the dreams you have during the night. Do you do you sit and decide today I want to dream that I'm in Dubai. Wakati ndoto zote wewe ukilala huwa uko unapata. Kuna wakati mmoja huo na kitu unaamua ya kwamba leo nataka kuota nikiwa nimeenda Dubai. Today I want to dream that that that, that the, 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 the cows will be chasing me and even elephants will be chasing me. Kuna wakati unakaa useme ya kwamba nataka kuota nikifukuzwa na ngombe, nataka kuota nikifukuzwa na ndovu. Yeah. Meaning that dream did not come from you, it came from somewhere. Kumaanisha hiyo ndoto huwa itokani na wewe huwa inatoka mahali fulani. Have you ever dreamt of somebody and you said, "I I've never thought about this person. It is many years. Why this dream? Why now? Why why why?" Ushaiota kuhusu mtu ama ukaota na mtu alafu kajiambia, "Sijawahi mfikiria huyu mtu. Na kwa nini ninaota na huyu mtu? Kwa nini wakati huu na kwa nini huyu mtu?" Meaning dreams have got a source. Kumaanisha ndoto huwa zina mahali zinatoka. But particularly when we are speaking concerning the God given dream, God must be the source. Lakini hasa tunapozungumzia kuhusu ndoto zinazotokana na Mungu, ni lazima Mungu awe ndiye chanzo. And I'm insisting this because I have a reason why it should come from God because anything that comes from God, God will defend it. Na nasisitiza hili kwa sababu ndoto inayotokana na Mungu ni lazima Mungu atailinda ama ataitetea. Amen. Amen. So Joseph sleeps and dreams. Kwa hivyo Yusufu analala na anaota. Hallelujah. Amen. He did not choose to dream but God gave him the dream. Hakuchagua aote hiyo ndoto lakini Mungu akampa ndoto. Some of the dreams and the visions we have today it is not our choice but God gave us. God is the source of the dreams and the visions you have today. Ndoto zingine ambazo tuko nazo leo si sisi tuliamua ila ni Mungu aliyetupatia hizo ndoto. You know I never dreamt that one day I'll be a pastor. Wajua siku wote hata siku moja nitakuwa mchungaji. But I remember even while I was school while I was still small I used to dream preaching to many crowds preaching in the churches I would see cripple walking even the lame walking the blind seeing and I did not understand. Lakini nilipokuwa mdogo hata nikiwa shuleni niliishi kuota ninaota nikihubiria umati wa watu ninaota nikiombea watu wakisimama viwete wakitembea lakini si, hakuna siku nilikusudia kuota hizi ndoto because god was the source of the vision and the dreams though i did i was not thinking in that line but god was telling me this is your line kwa sababu mungu ndiye chanzo alikuwa chanzo cha ndoto hizo na hata hivyo 
alikusudia kwamba nikiota hizi ndoto alikuwa ananielekea ingawa mawazo yangu sikufikiria mimi nitaelekea huku lakini Mungu alikusudia ya kwamba hii ndo itakuwa laini yako ama hii ndo itakuwa kazi yako Amen and because God was the source Na kwa sababu Mungu ndiye alikuwa chanzo I am a testimony of a dream come true Mimi ni ushuhuda wa ndoto ambayo imetimia kuwa kweli. I'm standing here I'm a testimony. Ninasimama hapa kama ushuhuda. That God can fulfill dreams and vision. Ya kwamba Mungu hutimiza ndoto na maono. Because many years back I used to see myself being a pastor. Kwa sababu miaka mingi ya nyuma niliishi kujiona mimi mchungaji. And I hated to be a pastor. Na nilichukia kuwa mchungaji. Na ungeniambia hata shuleni kuna eh, nilipokuwa college kuna watu wangeniita mjumbe anambia wewe tuwe simiani mimi si mchungaji sitaki kwa mchungaji i'm telling you the truth but every time when i sleep i see myself preaching na kila wakati ambapo nina keti ningejiona na ubiri mm. something is i did not like to pray for people kitu kingine ni kwamba sikupenda kuombea watu i said then i can be a good preacher but praying no Alikuwa anajiambia nilikuwa najiambia kwamba naweza kuwa mchungaji mzuri lakini kuombea watu ah casting demons mm, no am um, mimi ni muungwana ngati mm, toka toka sifanyi hiyo ukosewa tu kuja unakaa unakaje kaje but i can tell you it was a dream from god lakini naweza kukuhakikishia ilikuwa ni ndoto kutoka kwa mungu because god was the source of the dream kwa sababu mungu ndiye alikuwa chanzo cha hiyo ndoto today i'm a testimony leo mimi ni ushuhuda that god has given me me grace ya kwamba mungu amenipatia neema to fulfill the vision and the dream na ya kuweza kutimiza ile ndoto yake so if you you see yourself that that dream will not come to pass i'm here as a testimony kama wewe unaona ya kwamba ile ndoto ulionayo haitatimia niko hapa kama ushuhuda that god will make it come to pass ya kwamba mungu atahakikisha imetimia yes it might delay ni kweli inaweza kuchelewa but please wait for it lakini isubiri tu don't give up usichoke na usivuchike moyo never tell him don't give up gusa jirani yako mwambie usichoke if you see yourself being a millionaire and you wake up in the morning na yule yule nani landlord anakupigia nipatie rent yangu na hauna usivunjike moyo ukijiona wewe ni milionea ukijiota wewe ni milionea alafu asubuhi uamke unagongewa na jirani yako anakuitisha pesa zake nipatie ile mia yangu usivunjike moyo sijui kama nyinyi mshai kulala alafu unaota unahesabu pesa tena ngiringiri unahesabu unahesabu hapa kuna mka ukishtukia hivi ai kumbe uko pale chachewa na ukiangalia una pesa sijui kama mmeshauta ndoto kama hizo sijui kama umeshauta unashika madhahabu 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 nataka nikwambie usivunjike moyo hiyo ni future ya future hiyo ni picha ya kesho Mungu anataka kupeleke hapo usikate tamaa hauna pesa leo lakini haimaanishi utaishi pasipo pesa amen that's why god has given you a dream ndiposa Mungu amekupatia ndoto that's why joseph needed a dream na ndiposa Yusufu alihitaji ndoto. Look at me. Do you know what kept Joseph even in that pit that he was thrown? Niangalie, unajua ni nini kilimhifadhi Yusufu kwa lile pit lile shimo ambalo alitupwa? He remembered of the dream. Ah. Alikumbuka ndoto yake. He remembered of the dream. Alikumbuka ile ndoto. And I can hear him telling God na namsikia akimwambia Mungu Mungu I, I know I am in a pit Najua niko kwenye shimo But I remember in that dream I did not die in the pit I saw myself in palace Lakini nakumbuka kwenye ile ndoto sikufia kwenye shimo lakini nilijiona kwenye heka, kwenye ikulu I know right now I'm 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 I'm, 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 I'm renting a house but I saw myself with my own house I know you gave me a dream Ninajua kwamba leo hii mimi nina kodi nyumba lakini Mungu niliona niko katika jumba kubwa najua kwamba umenipatia ndoto And that's why Joseph did not die in that pit because he knew that that was not the end Na ndiposa Yusufu hakufa kwenye ile ndoto kwenye ile shimo kwa sababu alikuwa anajua Mungu alimpatia ndoto na kuna mahali alimwonyesha My brother my mother don't 
give up in that present condition you are that is not your end ndugu yangu mama yangu sikubali kufa katika hali yako ya siku ya leo hiyo sio nafasi yako i don't know which kind of a pit you are in right now sijui uko kwenye shimo gani wakati huu na sasa hivi but that no that is not the picture that god gave you you will not die in your pit i say you will not die in your pit lakini hiyo sio picha ama hiyo sio kusudi ndoto mungu alikupatia na kuhakikishia hautakufa kwenye hiyo shimo yako some of us life has blessed us in pits wengine wetu maisha ametuweka kwenye shimo things have gone way wire things went beyond the way we expected mambo yameenda jinsi ya tukutarajia ametuharibikia but please remember the dream lakini tafadhali kumbuka ndoto please noto. remember the vision tafadhali kumbuka maono and tell god i know i will not die in my situation namwambie mungu mungu najua kwamba sitakufa kwenye hali hii i know hii. god you be sending your help Najua Mungu ya kwamba utanitumia msaada. God is sending your help. Mungu anatuma msaidizi. If if God is the source. Na kama Mungu ndiye chanzo. You will not hear me. If God is the source of your dream and your vision. Hujanisikia vizuri na kama Mungu ndiye chanzo cha ndoto yako na maono yako. God will send help. Na Mungu atatuma usaidizi. And God will not allow you to die in your pit. Na Mungu hataruhusu ufe kwenye hilo shimo. I'm saying you are not dying in that pit mama. You are not dying. Yes, I know it is not good but you are not dying. Ninasema hivi hutakufa kwenye hilo shimo mama. Hata kama hali si nzuri lakini elewa kwamba hutakufa kwenye hilo shimo. He remembered. Joseph remembered. Yusuf akakumbuka. I saw myself in the palace. Nilijiona kwenye ikulu. And this gave him courage. Na hii kampa ujasiri. Even when he was in prison. Wakati alipokuwa gerezani. He reminded himself I did not see myself dying in prison. I saw myself being a prime minister. Akajikumbusha ya kwamba mimi sikujiona nikifa kwenye gereza. Nilijiona nikiwa Wacha kuona kwamba umekwisha. Yaani wewe oh, unaambia wapendwa mimi kwisha, mimi kwisha hakuna. Wacha kujiona wewe ni shagala bagala, wewe ni uhehe. Ona zaidi ya majela yako. Ona ukiingia kwenye ikulu, usiangalie hali iliyo kuzunguka. Hiyo ni ya majira tu, lakini hayo majira yatapita. Na kila Mungu alichokuonyesha kitatokea. Kama Mungu ndiyo chanzo na kama Mungu anaishi milele, kama Mungu halali, kama Mungu ye hazimi, kama Mungu yesi wanadamu god will make to pass the dreams and the vision he gave you amen mungu atayatimiza ndoto yako na maono aliyokupatia eh hey, wana yesu asifiwe i don't know if you are understanding me sijui kama unanielewa you are not dying in your pit haufi kwenye hilo shimo you know people can bless you in pits wajua watu wanaweza kuweka kwenye mashimo joseph did not decide to go inside the pit. Yusufu hakuamua kuingia kwenye shimo. Si ni kweli umejikuta katika hali hapa nilikwambie ulimuomba Mungu akuingize. Uh-huh. Ulitamani kujiingiza hapa. Uh-huh. Lakini si ulijikuta. Uh-huh. Nataka nikwambie Mungu hataruhusu ufe kwenye hilo shimo. Hata uh-huh. kama limekauka, hata kama halina maji, uh-huh. Mungu atatuma msaada. Maana maono na ndoto alizokupa lazima litimie hata kama zimechelewa. Amen. Give the Lord a hand of praise. Mpe Bwana sadaka ya makofi. Uh, are you understanding what I'm saying? Unaelewa kile ninasema? Please, please don't be discouraged because of what presently you are passing through. Tafadhali tunakuomba usikubali kuvunjika moyo kwa sababu ya hali ambayo unapitia ama hali uliyoko nayo leo hii. Some of you are passing through a very serious financial challenge now. Wengine wetu leo hii tunapitia katika hali mbaya na ngumu sana ya kifedha leo hii. But the opposite, the visions and the dreams you see when you sleep, you see yourself being rich, you see yourself owning companies, you see yourself having many business, you see yourself prospering. Lakini tunapolala yale maono tunaona, tunajiona tukiwa na fedha nyingi, tunajiona tukiwa na biashara kubwa, tunaona tukiendesha magari tukiwa na uwezo mkubwa. You know even if I was the devil. 
Hata kama ni, mimi ningekuwa ni shetani. And I know that God has passed you to be a millionaire. Na nielewe ya kwamba Mungu amekusudia wewe uwe milionea. Definitely I will come to frustrate you and show yourself that you are nothing, you have nothing, utakufa maskini. Bila shaka nitakuja kukuvunja moyo, kukuchokesha, kukuonyesha huna kitu, huwezi kitu, wewe ni bure kabisa. Kwanza wale watu wanakuwa na changamoto ya pesa zaidi madeni na mikopo. Hao ni watu ambao Mungu amekusudia wao na pesa. Hao ni watu Mungu amekusudia wasipungukiwage. Usikubali uongo wa shetani. Ni kweli unadaiwa, ni kweli una madeni, lakini wewe utamalizia kwa madeni. Kuna ndoto na maono Mungu amekupatia. Usife kwenye ma- deni usife kwa kudaiwa nenda zaidi ya madeni yako amen 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 sema unakufa na madeni sawa unadaiwa lakini shetani anakuonyesha ngo paka unashindwa Mungu ni wewe ulisema you know in, in ministry sometimes you do ministry wajua wakati mwingine kwa huduma kuna vile unafanya huduma and you do things and the things are not going the way you expect na wakati mwingine mambo hayaendi jinsi unavyotarajia. And sometimes you can question God. God, did you really call me or I called myself? Na wakati mwingine unaweza kuuliza Mungu maswali. Hivi Mungu uliniita ama nilijiita mwenyewe? Because you can call yourself. Kwa sababu unaweza kujiita. And I know there are people here they have gone through things in life but uh, uh, until they have started doubting if they had from God. Najua kuna watu hapa ambao wamepitia mambo mpaka imefika mahali wameanza kushuku kama kweli walisikia kutoka kwa Mungu Sometimes let me be sincere sometimes I'm suspicious concerning God Na Wakati mshuku. mwingine wacha ni, niwe mkweli kuna wakati na shuku Mungu Because what I see happening in my eyes is not what God spoke to me it's not what God showed me Kwa sababu mengine ambayo ninaona yakifanyika kwenye macho yangu sio yale ambayo Mungu alinionyesha wala sio yale ambayo Mungu alininenea But there's a reason why that is happening I will show you I'll give you another point why things are that way Lakini kuna sababu kwa nini hivyo yanatendeka hivyo na nitakupatia point nyingine ya kukuonyesha kwa nini mambo yako jinsi yanavyofanyika God is the source of your dream Na kama Mungu ndiye chanzo cha ndoto yako Look at me here if Niangani. God is the source of your dream Kama Mungu ndiye chanzo cha ndoto yako It means anybody who fights your dream does not fight you he's fighting God Inamaanisha kwamba yoyote ambaye anapigana na wewe apigani na wewe ila anapigana na Mungu maana Mungu ndiye chanzo cha ndoto yako When they are fighting your vision my sister they are not fighting you they are fighting the god of the heaven who gave you the vision wakati wanapigana na ndoto yako ama wanapigana na wewe dada yangu hawapigani na wewe ila wanapigana na Mungu ambaye ndiye chanzo na ndiye aliyekupatia hiyo ndoto god is the source of the dream and the vision you have wakati Mungu ndiyo chanzo cha ndoto na maono ulionayo when they speak against you wakati wananena kinyume na wewe they are speaking against the one wananena kinyume na yule ambaye aliyekupatia hiyo ndoto because he is the source kwa sababu yeye ndiye chanzo amen amen you know the bible says that where in proverbs 29 verse 18 Biblia inasema katika Medhali 28 mwezi mstari wa 19 na... uh, 29 mstari wa 18 mm-hmm. that where there is no pe- uh, vision people perish Pasipo na maono watu huangamia And you know I'm a Bible I'm a Bible scholar I'm a Bible scholar Na unajua mimi ni msomi wa Biblia And I like Hebrew words Na nilijifundisha maneno ya Kiibri ya Kiibrania The word perish comes from a Hebrew word Neno kuangamia linatokana na neno la Kiibrania This word is called para para P A R A para Hili neno linaitwa para When when when, when people do not have where there is no vision people para Pahali ambapo hapana maono watu hupara I'm teaching you something Nakufundisha kitu When there is no vision people para 
Wapale ambapo hapana maono watu hupara And you know I went deeper in this word trying to investigate what para means. Na nikaenda undani wa hili neno kutaka kujua hii para ina maana gani. The word perish what it means in Hebrew not in kikamba not in luo not in kigiriama. Nikaenda zaidi kutaka kujua hili neno lina maana nini na si kwa lugha ya kikamba ya kijaluo wala kigiriama. I think you know that the first bible was not written from uh, Kimasai. Eh? Najua kwamba unaelewa Biblia ya kwanza haikuandikwa kwa lugha ya Kimasai. Hata kama kuna Biblia za Kikamba, haikuanzia Kikamba, ilianzia Kihebrew. Sasa tuna original huko. Now Hebrew one this word means this. Kwa Kiibrania hili neno linamaanisha hivi. The word para number one it means jina ama neno para kwa maana ya kwanza inamaanisha to become naked. Kuwa uchi. Mm, 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 mm. It means to be naked. Inamaanisha kuwa uchi. In other words, somebody who has no vision or dream, he is exposed. Kumaanisha kwamba mtu asiyekuwa na ndoto wala maono ako wazi ama ako uchi. When good look God looks at you and you have no dreams, you are naked. Imagine unatembea ukiwa uchi. Kwa hivyo Mungu anapokutazama kama kama una maono ama ndoto, uko wazi ama uko uchi. That's why we are teaching that you need a dream and a vision. Na ndipo sasa tunafundisha kwamba unahitaji ndoto ama maono. Because nobody wants to be naked. Kwa sababu hakuna mtu anatamani ama anataka kuwa uchi. So when you don't have any dream or vision, you are exposed, you are naked. Kumaanisha wakati huna ndoto wala maono, uko wazi ama uko uchi. Anything can happen to you. Chochote kinaweza kutokea kwako. Anything, chochote can happen to you. Chochote kinaweza kutokea kwako chochote. May God help you. Mungu akusaidie. If you've been walking naked and you've not known. Kama umekuwa ukitembea uchi bila kujua. May God help you. Mungu akusaidie. Number two, the word para means barrenness. Ya pili, jina para linamaanisha utasa. Imagine So when the Bible says that where there is no vision people para it means people are barren. Kumaanisha wakati Biblia inasema ya kwamba pasipo na maono watu huangamia inamaanisha ya kwamba watu huwa na utasa. In other words there, there, there is unproductiveness where there is no vision or dream. Kumaanisha pasipo maono ama ndoto kuna kukosekana kwa uzalishaji. <laughs> That's why you need a dream. Na ndipo sasa tunahitaji ndoto. How many desire to be productive in life? Ni wangapi wanatamani kuzalisha ama kuongezeka katika maisha yao? You need a dream and a vision. Unahitaji maono na ndoto. Because if you don't have it then you become barren. Kwa sababu wakati huna maono ama ndoto utakuwa tasa. Na iwacha niseme ndio maana hata ukiangaliwa hakuna maendeleo uko nayo kwa sababu we uko huko tu. Eh hey, unaweza kuwa biskuti, unaweza kuwa unaweza kuwa nini? Unaweza kuwa mkuni, eh? unaweza kuwa nini? Unaweza kuwa nini? Mogoka because uko huko tu. Hujielewi. Umeelewa lakini kwa hivyo hata tutarajii mazao. Januari uko vile vile, mwezi wa sita uko hivyo hivyo, Disemba uko hivyo hivyo kwa sababu huna maono we uko tu. Hakuna kitu, hakuna improvement. Unajua hata kitu, hata simu yenyewe nimerealize ukikaa nayo, kuna sometimes inahitajika update. Umeshasikia saa ingine simu inakwambia update. Lakini we mwenyewe hakuna update. Ningeokea mwingine muulize wewe una, una, una currently latest version. Wewe una latest version. Uno kuko na update. Na sio kama mmejua hata simu ikiwa na na version za kitambo kuna vitu zingine hazikubali. Tunapenda WhatsApp lakini WhatsApp ikiisha muda wake huwezi kutumia. Kweli ama uongo ni paka u update. Lakini wa Kristo wako hakuna update. They are the same yesterday, today and forever. I refuse that. Nakataa hiyo kwa jina la Yesu. God only he is the same yesterday, today and forever but me. No. Ni Mungu peke yake ambaye ndiye anavyokuwa jana leo na hata milele lakini wewe hapana lazima uzalishe I must zeke. progress in my life lazima uendelee kimaisha I refuse to be dormant ninakataa kukaa pale mahali kuduma 
Yaani kuna watu wao tu ni participants. Umeshaona kwa game ya mpira. Eh. Ah, unaangeleta nyuma kidogo akunje ndo apige. Lakini ukimweka kwa field hakuna kitu. Wacha kuwa mtazamaji, ingia <laughs> ingia uwanjani ucheze. Mgeuke mwenzako mwambie ingia uwanjani ucheze. Ingia uwanjani ucheze. Yaani wengine wanajifanya makocha kweli. Oh, kocha amekosea. Ah, angemuingiza namba 10. Mbona amemuingiza namba 6? Ah, ndio maana tutafungwa. Siwendo kawe kochi. Hasa kuna watu wa Kristo kanisani, wao tu ni participants. Wanajua makosa wengine, wanaona makosa yao, wanatoa makosa lakini hakuna kitu wanafanya. Ah, na South America siri kwa ujumbe. We are speaking concerning God given dream. Tunaongelea kuhusu ndoto inayotokana kwa Mungu. Aha. Number 3. Ya tatu. The word perish. Jina kuangamia. It means inamaanisha go backward. Kurudi nyuma. <laughs> when the Bible says that when whenever people do not have vision, people para, in other words people go backward. Wakati Biblia inasema ya kwamba watu ambao hawana pasipo maono watu huangamia ama hilo jina para inamaanisha kurudi nyuma kurudi nyuma. Kwa hivyo nikikuona unarudi nyuma na kujua una maono. Sawa eh? Ai, simniangalie vizuri. Nikikuona unarudi reverse, sema reverse. Nikikuona unarudi nyuma it means probably you don't have a vision and a dream. Inamaanisha kwamba huna maono wala ndoto. Because a dream and a vision should propel you to go forward. Kwa sababu ndoto ama maono inafaa kukusukuma kusonga mbele. As, as per the definition a vision should make you see beyond now. Kulingana na ile tume tume maono vile tumeielezea kama vile tumeeleza maono mm. inamaanisha kwamba unastahili kusonga mbele okay now we are coming to the characteristics number 2 tunaingia kwa tabia namba ya pili every god given dream must be tested kumaanisha kwamba ndoto yoyote ambayo imepeanwa na Mungu lazima ijaribiwe it must be tested. Ni lazima ijaribiwe. Look at me here. Niangalie hapa. If God gives you a dream. Kama Mungu atakupatia ndoto. If you have a vision. Kama una maono. Then be prepared for fire. Kuwa jitayarishe kwa ajili ya moto. Be prepared for the testing. Jitayarishe kwa ajili ya majaribio. Every dream that God gives a man that dream must be tested kila ndoto ambayo mungu hupatia mwanadamu hiyo ndoto lazima ijaribiwe it is true god showed you oh, a big being a big preacher preaching the word but god will test the dream he gave you ni kweli mungu alikuonyesha kwamba utakuwa mhubiri mkubwa sana lakini ni ujue kwamba hiyo ndoto lazima itajaribiwa kama ni Mungu alikupatia. Look at me. In fact the reason why you are being opposed, the reason why you are being challenged, it is because of the dream that God has given you. Nitazame hapa kwa sababu gani leo unapingwa? Kwa sababu gani leo watu wanaenda kinyume na wewe? Ni kwa sababu ya ile ndoto Mungu alikupatia. People are against you my father. It is because of what you have it is because of the dream you have watu wako kinyume na wewe baba yangu ni kwa sababu ya ile ndoto mungu amekupatia ile maono ambao uko nayo when you read verse 8 in the book of uh, uh, genesis chapter 37 the story of joseph verse 7 the bible says and when he told them about the dream they hated him because of the dream ukisoma Mwanzo 37 mstari wa saba inasema ya kwamba ni kwa sababu ya ile ndoto Mungu alimpatia ama alivyoelezea walimchukia So the only reason why the brothers of Joseph hated Joseph though they were the, he was their brother it is because of the dream that he had Kwa hivyo kwa hivyo ni kwa sababu gani 
ndugu zake Yusufu walimchukia ni kwa sababu ya ile ndoto ambayo Mungu alimpatia ndipo sasa walianza kumchukia so you will be opposed because of the dream you carry kwa sababu kwa hivyo utapingwa kwa ile ndoto ambayo umebeba it is not strange when you are being tested Hai, si, si jambo la kigeni wakati unajaribiwa it is because of what you have ni kwa sababu ya kile ulichobeba the bible says that the brothers of joseph hated him biblia inasema ya kwamba ndugu yake yusufu wakamchukia you know why people hate your business Unajua ni kwa nini watu wanachukia biashara yako? You know why people hate your ministry? Unajua ni kwa sababu gani watu wanachukia huduma yako? It is because of the dream that God gave you. Ni kwa sababu ile ndoto Mungu alikupatia. So every God given dream will attract opposition. Kwa hivyo ndoto yote ambayo chanzo chake ni Mungu itakutana na pingamizi. Any God given dream will attract enemies. Ndoto yote ambayo inapeanwa na Mungu itaweza kuvutia maadui msidanganyiki hata mimi mnaniona kama mchungaji nina maadui wengi na ninapingwa wewe unafurahia huu ni mchungaji wangu lakini kuna watu hao wengine hawalali ingewezekana sio mchungaji wewe because any god given dream must be tested kwa sababu ndoto yoyote ambayo imetokana na Mungu lazima ijaribiwe but because it came from god lakini kwa sababu ilitokana na Mungu god will not allow the dream to die Mungu hataruhusu hiyo ndoto kufa god will not allow the vision to die Mungu hataruhusu haya maono yake because people have hated you kwa sababu watu wamekuchukia because you have got enemies kwa sababu una maadui <laughs> hallelujah Hallelujah. 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 He was able to dream again. Na Mungu akamwezesha kuota tena. You know when you read verse, verse 9, let us read verse 9. Verse 9 the book of uh, uh, the book of Genesis 37. Tusome mstari wa 9. Mhm. Mwanzo 37 mstari wa 9 inasema akaota ndo akaota tena ndoto eh, nyingine regelea tena akaota tena sema akaota tena akaota tena <laughs> sema akaota tena akaota tena eh, eh. ndoto nyingine eh, eh. akawaambia ndugu zake eh. akasema mm. angalieni nimeota ndoto nyingine eh, eh. na tazama juu ya mwezi na nyota kumi na moja zikaninamia listen to verse 9 it says and he dreamt yet another dream it means that even when they hated him it could not stop him from dreaming again Unasikia wa mstari wa 9 inasema mm. akaota tena ndoto nyingine mm. kumaanisha hata kama walimchukia haikumzuia kuota tena Mungu alimpa ndoto nyingine Don't mind them when they speak ill of you so long you have got a dream of God keep on dreaming keep on dreaming Usijali na usiwashughulikie wakati wanakupinga kama ni Mungu amekupatia hiyo ndoto endelea kuota na kutembea kwenye ndoto yako This is a great encouragement to me. Hii inanitia moyo mimi sana. Regardless of the opinion of people. Haijalishi maoni ya watu. Regardless of the way they see me. Haijalishi jinsi wanavoniona. Regardless of the way they thought about Joseph. Haijalishi jinsi walivyofikiria kuhusu Yusufu. When Joseph slept, he dreamt again. Wakati Yusufu alilala, aliota tena. I am here to declare to you. Niko hapa kukutangazia. You will dream again. Ya kwamba utaota tena. You will dream again. Ya kwamba utaota tena. They despised you but you will dream again. Walikudharau lakini utaota tena. Because it comes from God not from people. Kwa sababu inatokana na Mungu na haitokani na No man can prevent your vision and your dream from coming to pass. Hakuna mwanadamu anaweza zuia maono yako kutimia. Verse verse 20, 20. Let us read verse 20. Listen to what it says verse 20. Wacha tusome mstari wa 20 mwanzo 37 20. Mhm. Haya twende tukamuue na kumtupa katika birika moja wapo. Nasi tutasema Mnyama mkali amemla kisha tutaona kisha tutatoana tutaona kisha tutaona zi 
tutakuwaje ndoto zake unasikia vile wanasema tutamua alafu kisha tutaona zitakuwaje ndoto zake kisha tutaona zitakuwaje ndoto Exactly. We will see what it will become of his dreams. In other words, they knew that haya ya ya his dreams were coming to a reality. Kisha tutaona zitakuwaje ndoto zake. Kumaanisha walijua ama walielewa ya kwamba hizi ndoto zilikuwa zitimie. Eh! Hey! Wao unafikiri shetani anangangana na wewe? Anajua ya kwamba kile Mungu alisema atafanya. So they are saying let us kill him so that we can see what will become of his dreams. Wakasema wacha tumuue ndiposa tuone ni nini kitafanyika kwa hizo ndoto zake. So the reason they were killing him it was because of the dreams. Sababu aliyokuwa anamuua ni kwa sababu ya ndoto zake. Do you know there are some people today are suffering some people are sick today not because of anything not because bacteria ziko nyingi kwao ni kwa sababu ya hatima waliobeba ndio unakuta wanasumbuliwa na magonjwa shida zishi ni sababu ya ndoto to na uwezo Mungu ameweka ndani yako Unajua kuna watu wengi wanateseka kwa sababu ya zile ndoto walizobeba wanapata magonjwa si kwa sababu mili yao ni midhaifu lakini eh. kwa sababu ya ndoto ambazo Mungu ameweka ndani ya maisha yao Nyinyi mwelewi nawaambia Roho Mtakatifu ananiambia kuna wengine mmepambana na magonjwa sana yale magonjwa si eti kwamba nyinyi ndo hamnywi maji yako Mimi nishaona bana watu wanachemsha maji na akipimwa na typhoid na mimi si mchemshaji maji. Si mambo ya kuchemsha maji bwana. Ni vita, ni maono, ni ndoto iliyobeba. Si kwamba iminiti yako ati uli matunda, au oh, kula matunda kwa wingi, au oh, nini sio. Ah, ah. Si kwamba uli mboga mama. Hebu muulize mwenzako, si unakulaga mboga wewe? Wewe oh, unaona tu ni, 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 ni mboga hujakula za kutosha. Hawacha nikanunue mnyunya sasa nasikia vile mkali mkali wani dawa. Unakula mnyunya na next week uko hospitali pale foleni unangoja kutibiwa. It is because of what you carry. Ni kwa sababu ya kile umebeba. The opposition is because what God has given you. Pingamizi ama kupingwa ni kwa sababu ya kile Mungu amekupatia. Look at me here. Niangalie hapa. I have something to encourage people here. Nina kitu cha kukutia moyo hapa. They were saying let us kill him and see what will become of his dreams. Wakasema wacha tumuue tuone zitakuwaje hizo ndoto zake. Look at me here. Niangalie hapa. So they knew we cannot eliminate the dreams he has but we can eliminate him kwa hivyo walijua ya kwamba hawawezi kuangamiza zile ndoto alizokuwa nazo lakini wanaweza kumwangamiza yeye if the devil is too powerful let him try to kill your dream and your vision he can't kama shetani ana nguvu sana wacha basi ajaribu kuua maono yako na ndoto yako hawezi Sijui kama mnanielewa wanasema wacha tumue Yusufu tuone ndoto zake kumaanisha hakuna chochote wangefanya kuhusu ndoto Mungu ashapeana kwa hivyo kitu wangechezea ni mwili wa Yusufu ndiposa we ni mgonjwa ndiposa unadaiwa anaweza kucheza na mwili wako lakini hawezi kucheza na ndoto na maono Mungu aliweka ndani yako hawezi Ah, mnielewi? Wanasema wacha tumuue huyu, alafu tuangalie ndoto zitakuwaje. Maana mimi kama ungeniuliza kama alikuwa na nguvu, wangeua ndoto zake. Si hizo ndo zinafanya wamchukie. Wangepambana na ndoto. Na kuambia, the dreams God has given you. Ndoto ambazo Mungu amekupatia. The enemy cannot do nothing. Hakuna kitu shetani anaweza kutupa. The devil will do nothing. Shetani hatafanya chochote. Because it came from God. Kwa sababu imetokana na Mungu. He can only mess up your life. Anaweza tu kuchanganya na kukuharibia maisha. So that you don't fulfill the dream. Ndiposa ukose kutimiza kusudi na ndoto yako. He can come and mess up your marriage. Atakuja kuchanganya na haribu ndoa yako. So that he can distract you from your dreams. Ndiposa akakutatize usifikie ndoto zako. He can come and mess your business. Anaweza kuja kuchanganya na kukoroge kwenye biashara. So that he can distract you from your focus. Ndiposa akuondoe kwenye malengo yako na mwelekeo. But the Lord will help you. Lakini Mungu atakusaidia. The enemy will not kill your dream and your vision 
you are, your dream and your vision will not die I am here to decree and declare the vision and the dream God has given you they are not dying sooner even as you cross 2023 God is about to fulfill the dreams he gave you God is about to fulfill the vision he gave you you are crossing 2023 with the dreams and the vision he gave you please don't give up hold on to your vision because God gave you the vision so make sure you cross on with your vision make sure you cross God will give you a dream that is greater than you. God will give you a dream that is greater than you. Mungu atakupatia ndoto iliyokubwa kukuliko. I don't know if you have realized this. Sijui kama umetambua hili. That every time God comes and show you something he shows you something so big something that seems impossible sijui kamba umelewa hivi ya kwamba wakati mungu anakupatia ndoto anakuonyesha kitu kikubwa zaidi kitu ambacho kinaka kama hakiwezekani how many are witnesses here sometimes God tells you to do things that are impossible wakati mungine mungu anakuambi ufanye vile vitu ambavo haviwezekani there are things you can try to explain to people what you are planning and they say wewe wewe ni chizi wewe wewe akili zako umetupambao wewe akili zako ni mzuri unatumiaga banki umekunywa mnazi ah ya sikiza vitu vya Mungu vinakaga vikubwa maono ya Mungu akikupatia hakupi maono ya pikipiki max unanielewa ni kweli unatengeneza pikipiki lakini maono ni makubwa kuliko pikipiki any God given dream must be bigger than you ndoto yoyote ambayo mungu wa mekupatia lazima iwe kubwa kukuliko something that you think is it possible oh hii si mimi ni kuisha God has to give you something greater and there is a reason I will show you why he gives you something that seems impossible there is a reason kitu ambacho unaangalia unaosema kinawezekana kweli kuna sababu kwa nini Mungu anakupatia ndoto iliyokubwa kuliko kile wewe unaona kama ukiwezi wewe unaona unaona ukiwa milionea na unaona chama eh, women finance wakija kubeba alifriji lako na sufuria hata siku hizo tokitoki ovyo halafu unafikiria eh, eh, inawezekana kweli ati <laughs> Mungu acha jokes mimi milionea nadaiwa acha nikwambie maono huwa ni makubwa kukushinda wewe na Mungu ana sababu kwa nini? Niulize kwa nini? Sema, sikiza. When a dream is bigger than you, there are only two options. Wakati ndoto ni kubwa kukuliko, kuna mambo mawili tu. Look at me. When, you are, when the dream God gives you is greater than you, there are two options. Wakati Mungu amekupatia ndoto kubwa kukuliko, kuna namna mbili tu. Number one. Ya kwanza, you either give up <laughs> uchoke or number two, you seek help ama utafute usaidizi two option mambo ni mawili when god gives you a dream that is greater than you wakati mungu anakupatia ndoto ambayo ni kubwa kukuliko you either give up either uchoke or you seek help ama utafute msaada now the sweet thing with god kitu kizuri na kitamu na Mungu why god gives you that dream that is greater than you wakati Mungu anakupatia hii ndoto ambayo ni kubwa kukuliko he wants you to ana, seek to seek help anakutarajia na anataka utafute msaada kutoka kwake ah have you gotten the revelation umepata wewe ufunuo why god gives you something big because he wants you to seek his help 
Wakati Mungu anakupatia ndoto kubwa, anakutarajia utafute msaada kutoka kwake. So why does he give you a, a vision that is greater than you? Number one, so that you will seek help to accomplish that which he has shown you. Kwa hivyo kwa nini Mungu anakupatia ndoto kubwa kukuliko? Ni kwa sababu uweze kutafuta msaada kutoka kwake ndiposa ukatimize ile ndoto. Amen. So God gives you a dream but he gives you greater than you so that you can turn to him and say God umenipa dream but help me Lord it's too impossible it is too big I need you oh God oh help me. Kwa hivyo Mungu anakupatia ndoto iliyo kubwa kukuliko ambayo wewe unaona ya kwamba hutaweza kutimiza. Ndiposa umgeukie yeye Mungu mwambie Mungu naomba unisaidie, naomba uniwezeshe. Hii ni kubwa sana kwangu Mungu mimi sitaweza. Nahitaji msaada wako. And that is the time God feels happy. Aha, now you need me. Is I who gave you the dream so that you can come back to me. Na ndiposa hapo ndipo Mungu anafurahia ya kwamba oh ile ndoto na maono ambayo nimekupatia nilikupatia na sasa umeona kwamba unanigeukia unahitaji msaada Mungu anafurahia anasema mimi ndiye nilikupa maono sasa nitaweza kukusaidia Number two, why does God give you a, a, a vision that is greater than you it is so that he takes the glory after the accomplishment Ya pili kwa nini Mungu anakupatia ndoto kubwa na maono makubwa kukuliko? Ndiposa unapotimiza yale maono ama ile ndoto, Mungu akapokee utukufu. You know God desires to receive glory from you. Wajua Mungu anatamani akapokee utukufu kutoka kwako. And he is a jealousy God. Na Mungu wetu ana wivu. Look at me here. God Nyangani. is jealousy. Mungu ni mwenye wivu. Sometimes when he give you things at your level, you will say, ah, ni mimi pita. Ni mimi pita ndo nimefanya. Ah, ni nguvu zangu. Lakini akikuletea hali ngumu, ukute umeshindwa. Sasa wakati utakuja ukitimize, unasema kweli ni wewe Jehova haikuwa rahisi kufika hapa ni mkono wa Mungu umenibeba sasa Mungu anataka ufike mahali umwimbie wimbo useme haijakuwa rahisi kufika hapa ni mkono wa Mungu umenibeba na upale Mungu anapokiaga utukufu wakati analeta hali ambayo inakushinda ni kwamba he wants the glory si baadaye ujigipie kibwa ni mimi kama si mimi kashi mimi kashi mimi kashi mimi eh hey, unajua aliomba sana unajua alifunga sana acha ujinga Mungu ndo anakuletea kubwa si kama mnanielewa yes. ndio anakuletea ngoma nzito ndio ukumbuke aya yenyewe usiliona siwezi kutoboa imekuaje ah si mimi ni kwa neema ni kwa neema ni kwa neema kubwa inemboje wimbo ni wa neema huyu yesu ni wa neema kubwa ni wa neema huyu yesu ni wa neema kubwa ukiona aliyeimba kwamba ilikuwa ni kwa neema kubwa kumbe pia kuna neema ndogo sasa umefanywa kitu paka unajua hii ni neema nzito hii ni neema kubwa kuna vitu Mungu analeta vinakushinda akili vinakushinda nguvu vinashinda majirani vinashinda ndugu zako vinashinda mama yako vinashinda baba yako ili Mungu akapokee utukufu ya kwamba ni mimi niliyekuwezesha kuyafanya haya si shangazi yako si mjomba wako si watu wa kwenu si masomo yenu ni mimi Jehova Amen 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 God wants to get the glory Mungu anataka umburudishie utukufu Number three. Ya tatu. Why does God may give you something greater than you Kwa nini Mungu anakupatia ndoto kubwa kukuliko So that you may grow in faith Ndiposa uweze kukua kwenye imani. Greater dreams, greater visions require greater faith. Maono makubwa ndoto kubwa zinahitaji imani kubwa. So the only way God can make you believe. Jinsi moja tu Mungu anaweza kusababisha uamini is to give you a challenge. Ni kukupatia changamoto. Something that is bigger than you. Kitu ambacho ni kikubwa kukuliko. Something that is bigger than your clan. 
kitu ambacho ni kikubwa kuliko uko wako something that is bigger than your family kitu ambacho ni kikubwa kuliko familia yako he gives you a challenge inakupatia changamoto so that your faith can grow ndiposa imani yako ikakue hebu niangalie sijui kama usha realize kuna mambo uliona kama yanakuyakumaliza lakini baada ya kuyapitia baadaye ulikuja ku realize imani yako siku hizi imekua hata ukiona siku hizi unachekelea unapuzia kwa sababu umekua God wants you to grow. Mungu anatamani ukue. I say God wants you to grow. Mungu anataka ukue. That's why that vision seems impossible. He wants you to hiyo ndoto inakaa kama haiwezekani. Now, the number four, the final now, the characteristic, final of kind of characteristic. Tabia ya nne ya ndoto zinazotokana na Mungu. God will make provision for every dream. Ya kwamba Mungu atahakikisha ameleta utoshelezi kwa kila ndoto. God will not give you a dream that he cannot sustain that he cannot support. Mungu hata kupatia ndoto ambayo hawezi kuitekeleza ama hawezi kuipatia support. So any dream God gives you he must support that dream. Kumaanisha kila ndoto ambayo Mungu hukupatia lazima atakusaidia. God will give you resource to fulfill the dream. Mungu atakupatia rasilimali za kutimiza ile ndoto. Amen. Amen. God will give you the ability to accomplish it. Mungu atakupatia uwezo kutimiza ile ndoto. Look at me. I I I I, I tell you a statement. Niangalie nikwambie jambo. God will never give you a dream and a vision at the level of your budget. Mungu hata kupatia ndoto ama maono inayolingana na ile budget yako unapiga. <laughs> Any God given dream and vision must surpass your budget. Kila ndoto ambayo ni Mungu amepeana ama maono lazima itapita ile budget yako. So God will make provision for everything that he gives you. Kwa hivyo Mungu ataleta utoshelezi kwa kila ndoto anayokupatia. I like this statement that you can write down. Ninapenda hii hii hi, 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 neno na, nataka uandike. God's God's will is God's bill. Mapenzi ya Mungu ni gharama ya Mungu. Uh-huh. God's will is God's bill. Mapenzi ya Mungu ni gharama yake. In other words, if it is the will of God, kwa maneno mengine kama ni mapenzi ya Mungu, God will pay the bill. Mungu atagaramikia. Kama ni mapenzi ya Mungu hicho kitu atakilipia. Hmm. Unajua mara nyingine tunamweka Mungu kwa boxi alipie vitu ambavyo sifa kwake. Lakini kama yeye ndio mwanzilishi uwe na uhakika ata support yes atalipia gharama yes so kama Mungu amekupa hiyo ndoto mm. kunyeshe kusinyeshe yes wake jua kusiwake jua Mungu atahakikisha amesimama na maono atahakikisha atalipia gharama amen ndio naona yona alipoamua kwenda kwa tashish kule kuna kasheshi na tashish kasheshi <laughs> Mungu hakugaramia Yes. Akapata shida mawimbi tena Biblia inasema alilipa fair. Yes. Wakati Mungu alikuwa amemtuma alipoamua sasa nimesarenda alilipa fair. Hakulipa alipa. Meli ilikuwa inaenda wapi? Tashish. Mm. Haikugeuka ikampeleka Nineve kweli ama uongo? Kweli. Alitupa kwenye samaa? Alitupa kwenye Lakini bahari. kwa sababu alikuwa kwa mapenzi ya Mungu Mungu akalipia bill akatuma samaki. Oi! Amen. God sent a fish. Yes, Mungu alituma samaki so that he could transport Jonah to Nineveh. Ndiposa ile samaki ikaweza kumsafirisha Yona kwenda Nineveh. Look at me here. Niangalia. You know there are things that happen to our lives they look like that giant fish. Kuna mambo ambayo yanatukia kwenye maisha yetu ambayo yanakaa kama yule samaki mkubwa. Some of the things those fishes they have swallowed us. 
mambo mengine yanayotunayopitia katika maisha ni ni huyo samaki mkubwa ametumeza but because it is the part it is the process of the vision i want to tell you that fish will not destroy you na kwa sababu ni moja wapo la kusudi la la ndoto yako ya Mungu kutimia kwenye maisha yako hiyo samaki iliyo kumeza haitakuangamiza do you think it is very easy for a fish for a whale not to swallow you and to and to digest you unafikiri ni rahisi samaki ikubeze ikuweke mdomoni kwa tumbo lake na isiweze kusagasaga let me ask you ulisikia wapi ulisikia wapi ulisikia wapi Ulisikia wapi? Samaki anakumeza na akutafuni. Wewe ulisikia wapi? Ngeuke mwenzako mwambie ulisikia wapi? Ulisikia wapi? Ile samaki ni ya kukutafuna ikumalize. Lakini kwa sababu ni Mungu aliyeituma. <laughs> Chochote Mungu alichokiruhusu kije kwako hata kama ni hatari, hata kama ni kibaya, hakikumalizi, hakitakumaliza, bali Mungu atakitumia kwa utukufu wake. You will never be destroyed by anything God allows it in your life. Amen. Hautaangamizwa na kile Mungu ameruhusu kije katika maisha yako. Sijali ni samaki gani amemruhusu. Lakini madamu Mungu amemruhusu. Acha aje na meno yake. Lakini utakuta kimeujiza mjiza pita umesurvive kule ndani. Uelewi siku tatu huku sambwa kwa nini? Sijui juice zilifungwa mifereji. Have you been thinking when you eat the food, the solid food? Ushawefikiria ukila chakula. After two days what comes out is not solid. Kile kinachotoka baada ya siku mbili si kile ulichokula. There are things that are called digestive juices, biology. Kuna vitu katika biolojia zinaitwa hizo kemikali hizo vinini. Hizo kemikali za kusaga chakula. They break down the solid thing, they break it down until even if it is a bone is broken down. Zinakunjavunja kila kitu chenye ulikula hata kama ulikula githeri, mzokoi, chapati. Na kama uelewi utani, utanielewa kuharisha unaharishaje maji na ulikula vitu vigumu vigumu eh hizo majuices i don't know what happened in the days of jonah i cannot explain the juices did not destroy him they did not digest him because he was in the plan in the will of god siwezi eleza ama kuelewa ni nini kilifanyika wakati wa yona akiwa ndani ya ile samaki kwa sababu katika tumbo la samaki zile kemikali za kusaga chakula hazikumdhuru kwa siku tatu Three na hazikumwangamiza kwa sababu alikuwa kwenye kusudi la Mungu I am here to declare as long you are in the will of God as long you are pursuing the dreams and God has, be, has given you you will not be destroyed Amen niko hapa kutangaza ya kwamba kama vile kama ni kusudi la Mungu na unatimiza kusudi la Mungu ah. hautaangamizwa na chochote kile unapitia probably the depth that is before you is a fish to you Inawezekana kuwa lile deni liko mbele yako ni samaki mkubwa. But you be amazed mama after one month after two months you find yourself at the shore of the sea. Lakini <laughs> utakushangaza ya kwamba baada ya miezi miwili ama mitatu utajikuta ufuoni mwa bahari. Sikiza Mungu anajua kuongea hata na samaki. Usiniulize alienda shule wapi? Alijua ufuoni ni wapi akaenda akamtapika. Usiniulize when God you are in the plan, you are in the will of God. God will do anything for you. Wakati uko kwenye kusudi na mpango wa Mungu, Mungu atafanya chochote katika maisha yako. Watu watakuwa na maswali likuaje tueleze. Unajua I think alipokaa na watoto wake Yona alikuwa anamuuliza hebu tueleze babu ama grandi hivi likuaje ulikaje siku tatu hukufa God will preserve you Mungu atakuhifadhi I say God will preserve you Mungu atakuhifadhi I say God will preserve you Mungu atakuhifadhi May God preserve you Mungu akuhifadhi. May God preserve your family. Mungu aifadhi jamii yako. May God preserve your children. Mungu aifadhi watoto wako. May God preserve your husband. Mungu aifadhi mume wako. May God preserve your wife. Mungu aifadhi mke wako. May God preserve your ministry. Mungu aifadhi huduma yako. Because Amen. of a dream. Kwa sababu ya ndoto. God did not allow Jonah hata kama alikuwa amechemsha 
hakumruhusu akufe. Unajua kwa nini? Nyinyi wengi hapa mmechemsha. Si ni kweli? Lakini ushangai kwamba umechemsha na bado hata unakuja kanisani na umechemsha na Mungu anakupatia nafasi nyingine ni kwa sababu ya ndoto. Please. Amen. Usizarau. Amen. Don't take it for granted please. Yes. Yes. Sijui kama mnanisikia. Amen. Eh. Hey. Mm. Usiasiu. Ngeogea <laughs> mwenzako mwambie usiasiu. Usidharau. Mwambie umechemsha. Umechemsha. Lakini Mungu tu kwa rehema zake. Lakini Mungu tu kwa rehema zake. Na kwa ndoto alizokupa. Na ndoto alizokupa. Amekupa nafasi nyingine. Amekupa nafasi nyingine. Amen. I have finished. Nimemaliza. I want to pray for those who are watching us. Nataka niombe na wale wanaotutazama. It's my desire. Nitamanio langu. That you not die in your dreams. Ya kwamba usife kwenye ndoto yako. Regardless of the many challenges and obstacles you may face. Haijalishi changamoto na vizuizi ambavyo unapitia. God will support the vision and the dream he gave you. Mungu atakusaidia katika ndoto aliyokupatia. Don't give up, please pursue the dream. Usivunjike moyo, usichoke, kimbizana na ndoto yako. Father in the name of Jesus. Baba katika jina la Yesu. I pray. Ninaomba. For my viewers right now. Kwa watazamaji wangu wakati huu. Lord bless their lives. Ya kwamba Mungu bariki maisha yao. Transform them by the dreams you've given them. Wasaidie kwa ajili ya ndoto ambazo umewapatia. Thank you for the life. Asante kwa maisha yao. They are not dying in their dreams. Hawafi katika ndoto zao. They are coming out to be stronger. Wanatoka wakiwa wajasiri na wenye nguvu. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Bless their lives. Bariki maisha yao. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo tumeomba na kuamini. Amen. Amen. Give the Lord a hand of praise. Patie Bwana Yesu makofi sadaka ya makofi from abundant life center taveta kutoka abundant life center taveta we are saying bye until we meet again tunasema kwa heri mpaka tutakapokutana tena pursue your dreams kimbizana na ndoto zako don't give up usivunjike moyo na usichoke wait for god and they will come to pass ngoje mungu na ndoto zako zitatimia mungu awabariki amen amen